next story so bizarre and already inspiring so many comments on our Facebook page tonight. The desire to have an American-born child has some pregnant Chinese women going to some great lengths. Yeah, it sure does. An investigation by federal authorities uncovered an alleged maternity scheme that stretches from Los Angeles to Hawaii. KITV4's Paul Drews has our top story at 6.30. Federal agents raided an apartment in Irvine. The owners allegedly charged with fraud and tax evasion for running birthing hotels, allegedly charging pregnant Chinese women forty to eighty thousand dollars for housing, food, transportation, medical services, and fraudulent visas. People who come from China to the United States for the sole purpose of having their children born as American citizens. Authorities in California have caught on. And investigators say Hawaii has become a prime target. In one case, a pregnant woman's visa application stated she intended to stay with family in Hawaii for two weeks at the Sheraton Waikiki. Homeland Security records show the woman instead entered the U.S. on July 7, 2013, then flew out of Los Angeles International Airport five months later along with a newborn child. The affidavit says pregnant women are told to fly through Honolulu International Airport because the U.S. customs officials are lax. In a statement to KITV, officials said a traveler's admissibility is determined based on inspection by a Customs and Border Protection officer. As with any traveler, CPB will examine whether or not the traveler is admissible. In most cases, women are not allowed to fly after six months of pregnancy. However, women often deceive officials by wearing loose fitting clothing to hide their pregnancy. These people were told to lie, how to lie so that their motives for coming to the U.S. wouldn't be questioned. With the investigation ongoing, no arrests were made in California. Federal officials would not comment about whether there was an investigation in progress in Hawaii as well. Paul Drews, KITV4 News. Starting today, the Department of Health will start screening newborn babies for severe combined immunodeficiency, or SCID. SCID is where children were born without an immune system, and this means they can't fight off diseases, leaving them vulnerable to getting sick or even dying. This test will detect newborns early on in life, make sure that they can be isolated so that they aren't um, in contact with people that are infectious, um, and then be able to figure out if they really have severe combined immunodeficiency. The test is a blood spot on the heel and has been added to a list of other disorders the state already checks for in newborns.